In this video, we will add a new project to an existing Star Team configuration. This is a function that is normally carried out either by the Star Team administrator or by a user who has been provided with the access right to create projects. Within a server configuration, artifacts are stored into projects, which group and manage related items in a set of folders. Creating a project allows you to put files under version control, set requirements, track change requests, manage tasks, audit user actions, and discuss the project. Each project has at least one view called the initial or root view. For example, a project for a software product might include files on the product functional specifications, marketing requirements, source code, test suites, and all these are stored in separate folders in the initial view. As the product progresses from one release to another, additional views of these folders can be created. One view could represent the 1.0 version of the product, while a second view represents the 2.0 version, and so on. Before a server configuration can be used, at least one project must be created. A server configuration can hold multiple projects, each oriented to the lifecycle needs of a specific team, application or component. Before creating a project, you should have the following information. The project name, the project description, the location of the working folders. These are the folders that contain the files which will be version controlled by Star Team and will be accessible by each user who has been given access to the project. To create a new project, click on the New Project icon. This will open the New Project dialog. Select the Star Team server that will hold the new project. In this example, we'll be using the StarDraw server. I'm going to log in using the administrator username and password. Click OK. And with the server selected, click Next. The next dialog is the New Project Properties dialog. Enter a name for the project. I'll call this one My First Project. Enter a description for the project. I'll call this one Creating a New Star Team Project. Click the Next button. The next dialog is where you set the working folders for the project. This should be the root folder of the set of folders that contain the files which are going to be version controlled in Star Team. You can use the Browse button to select a different folder, but I'm going to use C colon backslash star draw as my working folder. Click the Next button to accept the working folder location. The next dialog allows you to exclude any of the subfolders from being version controlled by Star Team. You can exclude folders by selecting them and clicking the Exclude button. For this video, we'll just include all the child folders. Click Finish to complete the project. The newly created project now opens in the Star Team client and the child folders are visible in the project pane. Click on the All Descendants button. The file tab now shows 121 files as not in view. This status tells us that these files are in the working folders but do not yet exist in the project. That is, the files have never been checked into Star Team. This completes this video as we have created a new project on the Star Team server and set the working folder for the project that contains the files which will be version controlled by Star Team. You could continue working on the project and check out the files that are not in view, but as we have completed the task we set out to, I log out of the project and disconnect from the Star Team server.